Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us under the library. This is our Call of Cthulhu actual play show. This week we are continuing our pre-production playthrough of our second module, which will be called The Most Dangerous Game. This is episode two of that playthrough. If you like what we do here and would like to support our efforts, please head over to underthelibrary.com slash support. There you will find links directly to our first module, The Snake's Oil, and to our Patreon. Again, that's underthelibrary.com slash support. And if you are looking to improve your own tabletop role-playing experience, check out our other show. It's called Up Your RPG and can be found wherever you get your podcasts. My name is Arthur. I am playing Dev in this module. We are out Wayne and Scott this week. So I am joined by Emily playing Amelia, Rick as the captain, Chris as Tommy, and as always, our keeper is Michael. Michael, over to you. Hey, thanks for joining us. Under the Library is a horror tabletop role-playing game set in the Call of Cthulhu universe. As such, it features themes of bodily horror, blood, gore, swear words, and any other little thing that's on top of Rick's mind, which can be quite scary. So, if your idea of the holidays involves a seven-fingered Krampus with tentacly appendages eating a bowl full of elves, you're in the right spot. And with that, I'll give it to Emily with last week's recap. Okay, thank you, Michael. We started out last week in 1970s Marathon, Florida. Amelia Palmer, a professor of history, and her friend Tommy, who is afraid of being out on the water, hire a boat to celebrate his birthday. She does not tell him that this boat ride will perhaps take them out on the water for seven to eight days because she has a very specific destination in mind. The cap captain's the captain's <laughs> boat called Horace the Elder <laughs> is also crewed by Dev. And they are joined at the last minute by a very excited man named Rufus. He wants to fish, he wants to sail. He is in wonder of all, as it seems. So yeah, they get out on the water and we spend most of our session in a surprisingly smooth series of stops and trips. And uh, they eventually, we ended up setting out from Chubb towards our final destination as we ended the session. That, that's where you go, Michael. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> oh, Woo, I keep right. muted again. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Are you okay? Never. <laughs> Do you smell toast? <laughs> I can't smell anything. Oh, right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, if I do smell toast, it's probably really bad. Okay. Um, so with that, then uh our uh, what's what's uh scott's character's name uh rufus. rufus 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 has been partying it up on the sailboat for the last couple of days as y'all headed out towards the coordinates that amelia palmer dr palmer to me has given you and as he he's also didn't really kind of account for what it would be like to be on the open water. So after spending the third day hurling over the side of the boat, uh, he's retired into his stateroom. Um, Poor Rufus. Yeah. Um, he was otherwise, so uh, aside from Rufus puking all over the place, Tommy, things have gone pretty smooth for you. Um you're still strapped in your uh, life preserver yeah, <laughs> uh, with your, your short shorts on. But um, I mean, jean shorts. Sorry, you're cut off. No, I've got the Come short on, shorts. Man. Okay. 
but on the whole, though, I this has been a surprisingly kind of nice little voyage for you. And so it's on the, let's say, morning of the fourth day that y'all start to close in on the coordinates. Um, the problem being, uh, Captain Get Off, that the coordinates um, appear to not put you in the middle of the water, uh, which would be perfect for diving, but appear to put you on an island. Hmm. So Why are we headed towards land? This can't what? be right. Did you did you get this right, Dave? Uh, yeah, I've I've checked it several times, man. Uh, it, it goes right to that island. I My see. coordinates should be far out in the ocean. Uh, Miss pa- uh, Doctor Palmer, uh, I, I uh, where did you get these uh, uh, coordinates? Through extensive research. These coordinates should be the site of a shipwreck, the HMS Paragon. Hmm. You hear hmm. about a Paragon there, Dev? Would we know this, Keeper? Well, it was quite a while ago. It went down in the Bermuda, Bermuda Triangle <laughs> en route to the West Indies in late 1793. You hmm. know, the historian hmm. Richard Harrison was on board. Uh, I, I did not know that. Or any of that. Would, would we have heard Dr. anything Bob. about that? Keeper? I, I, the captain definitely would not have. If you want to make uh, an edu roll on it, uh, go right ahead, Deb. Okay. Um, I suppose I should probably open my character, huh? Um, Harrison was a here. very well-known scholar in his time. He uh, knew much about the British royal oh, family and how, he collected their documents. How early in the day is it? I actually made it. <laughs> okay, so then, you know, maybe through some of your perusing on the literature of, of disappearances within the Bermuda Triangle or something like that, you mm-hmm. maybe would have heard of the boat that she's talking about then. I mean, it wouldn't be that, you know, it wouldn't be... Okay, so um, would I have... Would what I read have given me any clue as to why the um, coordinates that we have might be off. Um, And and I'll just say that in terms of if this was a large vessel on like a shipping route, it would probably be on the east side of the Exumas, um, whereas we would be on the west side. The trade winds go from east to west, um, so it's rougher on the east side, but it's shallower on the west side so if someone was taking a you know if it was a larger vessel on a course to somewhere south they would be on that more open water deeper water um whereas we're taking the the nicer calmer route let me intervene on that and Mm -hmm. say that um the coordinates seem quite given now that you know where you are and Mm -hmm. seeing seeing where it is that the coordinates are quite odd on both fronts okay um but what i know about it wouldn't give me any clue as to the validity of the coordinates and where they might have gone wrong no i'm guessing you you just got a regular success right yeah yeah the, you know you just you probably read something at some point about this ship that went missing in in the Bermuda Triangle okay and, yeah kind of know, among the many, other many mysteries of the sea mm-hmm. this is one that still remains whatever happened to the HMS okay. Paragon Paragon the HM, whatever happened to the HMS Paragon you know remains a mystery to this day blah blah blah, blah. now Amelia had you told me what your interest in uh the ship was uh well something they were hauling or generally know that i have an interest in um british history specifically the english monarchy and i i wouldn't have told you specifically unless you asked hey uh, but i would not hey, keep amelia. it a secret from my friends <laughs> hey hey amelia what are you looking for was the ship carrying a member of the royal family well no it's this historian richard harrison he was supposedly in possession of a letter written by Mary, Queen of Scots. And 
in this letter, she mentions a bastard child named Arnold. And you you remember, of course, Tommy, that I am of the direct lineage. Yeah. Oh, of yes. The royal uh, yes, of course. Scottish, I remember that. English. Yes. I am related to Mary, Queen of Scots. Oh, my gosh. But that, you know, I didn't tell you what my paper was about. It was a difficult time. But I have been researching for so long my own history. And I discovered that not that I truly am connected to two lines of the royal family because Mary, Queen of Scots, had a dalliance uh -oh. with a member of the English royal family while she was being held in a remote castle by Queen Elizabeth I. Mm. Richard Harrison's letter proves this. I claimed it in my conference and they laughed at me because there is no known bastard child of the royal family with Mary, with Mary, Queen of Scots. And I. That's ridiculous. History is littered with unknown bastards. His name is How could Arnold. They be so... Well, of course. The, the bastard child. His name is Arnold. Yes. And he is my. 14 generations great grandfather so where does that put you in line for the uh the throne should be very, very far should away. the should the let's see hops what is it the hopsburgs who the hell are hopsburgs the, hopsburgs should they i don't know should but something the happen aren't on should the something happen to the Habsburgs? english throne wait, wait what are what's the german name for the current monarchy the German name for the Windsors? Yes, they changed their name from a German name. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's the Habsburgs. Yeah, yeah, it was like in World War Emily I. Emily doesn't know, but obviously oh, Amelia okay. would know. Yeah, like in World War One, they were like, oh, yeah, we're not German anymore. Hmm. <laughs> I might need to do a little Googling here. So, okay, is... But that's not your area of expertise. Yours is that area. Well, it should be. That time period. Well, yeah, it's it's more like 16th century. Is the captain listening to all of this? Is he just there? I, I would think we'd all be there, right? <laughs> yeah. Because we yeah. were looking I mean, at the you, charts. You, I'm speaking very softly to Tommy, but I am on my pedestal, my high horse, and I don't mm -hmm. know who's listening to me. Yeah. So you would just you would just say very that passionate. Hear, you would just hear a like I didn't hear anything. Oh, uh, a loud <laughs> sip. A loud sip. And then a bit of a cough. And he would go, Well, that's um fascinating, but that that doesn't change the fact that there's a freaking island out here. Harrison was carrying this letter on the Paragon, and he certainly would have stored it in, a, he would have kept it safe. He would, it would have been waterproof for his voyage because he was very careful with his documents. We have to find this letter. My reputation depends on it. What were you trying you must to have die the coordinates for? Wrong. The, the letter itself? The letter. And why would you think a letter would survive underwater for so long? Because Harrison would have carefully stored <laughs> this letter, as Amelia believes strongly. I see. Uh, so well, oil skins. Well, I don't know. Yes. What did they have in the 16th century? Yeah, bottles. Uh huh. Um, yeah. uh, uh, so Amelia, bottles. Amelia. It's a letter in a bottle. Amelia, so here it is. The House of Windsor came into being in 1917. Uh, it was made the official family name by a proclamation of King George V, replacing the historic family name of Sox Coburg Gotha. Oh, Sox of Coburg course. Gotha. Of course, the hmm. Sox Coburgs. Gotha. It's all Gotha. one big yeah. hyphen. Yeah, like Germans do. Um, hmm. So, uh, Miss Miss uh, Doctor Palmer, uh, do yeah. you want to take a yeah. look at yes. at, um, at these coordinates? Um, and I'll, I'll show you. So they they line up here with this island. Uh, do you know where that ship left from and where it was going to? Well, it left. My backstory only says Britain to the West Indies. <laughs> yeah, I, I think leaving it at that's going to be fine. I don't okay. think we have to like kind of micro into okay the wares. Yeah, I I think it's it's 
pretty unlikely that they'd be on the west side of the Exumas uh, unless they got really off course and took a very weird route to get here. Um, the Exumas are, are pretty tight, um, basically, at least conceptually, a north-south line. Uh, you can get through, but y- there, there are certain cuts you have to use to get through, and some of them you have to, to pick are a... Are you saying my research is wrong? No, what, what I'm saying is... I've I have multiple sources. So then maybe the, um, maybe the ship is on dry ground. Dev, uh, is this island we're seeing, is this on the map? Is this a known island? I, I would think so. Oh, no. Uh, no, it, it's it's not. It's okay, then. Yeah, that was my fear, is maybe this used to be water. And was it like, is there like volcanic activity here that forms islands, or is this a different no. process? Um, no, it's weird. I mean, th- this area is pretty well charted. Um, you know, as you can see, the... Um, you know, the seas are quite calm. It's, it's lovely out here. Most of these islands are uninhabited. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of, uh, the science fiction pulps. And, uh, the first thing that comes to mind for me is that this island is from another time. And, in, and we've somehow crossed over into another time stream, uh, thereby <sighs> revealing an island that shouldn't exist either way in the past or, perhaps way in the future. Okay. I think I know what you're getting at, Keeper. The island, the coordinates on the map are not on an island, but where we're headed is to the coordinates and there's an island there. Is that what you're getting at? Correct. Okay. So I misunderstood what you were saying. I thought you were saying that when I plotted them on the map, they were on an island. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, so we ran that, into that makes an a lot more where sense. it was supposed to just be C. Okay, is the answer gotcha. right? So, so at this point, I would just pull Dev to the side and I'd say, "Listen, Dev, uh, they're paying good money, anyways, and if we don't got to get our boots wet, uh, and we just got to stomp up on the island there and give it a little uh, uh, upturn, and uh, I don't see a problem with that. Do you? Uh, no, I, I'm okay with that. Um, yeah. Um, so, Tommy, uh, did you say your science fiction thing out loud? Or were oh yes, just... no, oh. I said that totally out loud. If that's possible, the letter could be perfectly preserved. Yes, yes. Now, now I will say we paid for a diving expedition, but a land expedition carries its own risks uh, and concerns, and so uh, we're happy to uh, allow you on the island. But should you want our presence? And our uh, uh, security, there will be another uh, no, uh, no, no, hundred think, dollar no, no, uh, coverage and I, fee. No, Amelia and I can take care of it ourselves. I'm sure. Well, Dad, it, would you, Dad? Would you like to come? So, why, why don't you, uh, <laughs> you, you all can debate that. I'm gonna, uh, um, I, I'm gonna spin us up in the lee of this island here. We can, we can anchor off the island, and then uh, uh, you all can decide who goes ashore, and, and uh, we'll, we'll take the skiff. Uh, ashore for whoever wants to go. Does that make sense to everybody? But Dev, you are positive that these coordinates lead us to this island, right? That, did you see that island that we're looking at right now? I see the island. That that's. Is there any margin for error? Uh, what if your equipment isn't correctly? <laughs> ma'am, well, ma'am, I will you... say. Um, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, just side note, uh, there there were no um, shipboard GPSs in the mid seventies, <laughs> so we would be going off of um, off of written coordinates um, on the map or on the charts, and uh, possibly using a Loran, um, which was like an early version uh, of GPS. Is your Loran appropriately uh, balanced? Yeah, er- everything's so. Uh, here, let me show you. So um, over here is the are the physical uh, charts. So this is where we map out, and I'll show you that the, the um, you know the coordinates on on one axis and the coordinates on the other axis, and draw them together, and they go right here. Um, 
And then over here is the Loran, and that, that tells us to go to this point, which, uh, you know, in another chart, I'll show you that. That goes right here. When you lay these two over each other, they're right there. And, and so if you take a look off, off the port side, uh, we, got, we got that site over there, which is this other island. And then um, if you take a look past the island, that's this right here. That's this marker. So the it lines up is, perfectly Amelia. with where we are. So that's absolutely the spot. Dr. Palmer, please. You don't need to question Dev. He knows what he's talking about those are the coordinates that's the island and if you want to get on board uh, we'll get the skiff ready for you and uh, tommy there uh, to go uh, a tromping on your um, uh, time dilated uh pulpy islands and and as you look out the island is not too big it's about uh two kilometers long and um it is very uh <clears throat> has some significant terrain to it like it looks to almost have i wouldn't call them mountains but uh, you know, it has some significant hills on there. Um, Y'all just are going down one side of the island, correct? Yeah. So um, we would we would swing around uh, the east side of the island. Uh, oh, okay. So we'd be going south, yep. and I would go out to the east, and then uh, sorry, I would go to the west, and then turn back east. So we're okay. on the west side of the island. Oh my god, I keep I'm screwing this up. Um, yeah, so uh, we're on the west side of the island, facing <laughs> east, so that the uh, the trade winds that are coming from the east. I got to close my eyes and picture a chart. Um, the, okay. So that the trade winds we're that are okay. coming from the east are being okay. blocked by the island. We're okay. Your keeper's not that savvy okay. enough about the sea. Fine. So we're okay. on the west side of the island, facing east. Okay. How about I get a spot hidden from? Uh, somebody who's on the bow of the boat. That's the front, right? I'm yeah, on that's the bow the of the boat. Yeah. <clears throat> Staring at an island where there should be open ocean. Okay, give me a spot hidden then, Dr. Palmer. Hmm. Why, that's a 16. That has to be good. Uh, that is a... <laughs> <laughs> What's the second one? Hard, Hard. success. Okay. Um... As you're as you're looking out, there seems to be some sort of a structure on on top of um, there's from from the standpoint of where you're parked. Uh, there's two large <laughs> rises anchored. Um, there's a lot on the right. <laughs> uh, it seems to have a structure on the top. And as your eyes fall down away from it. Uh, you see a woman standing on the beach in a white dress and she's waving her arms um, at you. And you're probably, wherever you're parked, you're probably a good, I don't know, 100 yards away from the island, right? You're killing me. There's somebody <laughs> out there. But Dev, how could this island not be on the maps if there's, if there's buildings it, on it? Oh my God, people. is this some secret government? Installation. All right, all right. Now, Deb, does Deb, her dress grab, look old to you? Maybe. Grab me, grab maybe me your the, time uh, travel binoculars? theory. Give me binoculars. Whoa! There, Deb. What do you? All right, here you go. <laughs> Give me the binoculars, Deb. Deb, 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 Deb grab me. <laughs> grab me, Deb. <laughs> uh, Deb, grab me binoculars and uh, go ahead and throw in the emergency uh, uh, brakes because uh, we are going to be staying. <laughs> uh, and I'll, I'll go to the bow of the boat. And unfurl the binoculars, and I'll take a look at this uh, lady in white. Unfurl the binoculars. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, you don't. Amelia, are you sure we're on the right boat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that any of this is right. Uh, get off! As you're staring off the bow with the binoculars, uh, you don't see any body. Uh, you do see this large kind of stonish structure up on top of one of the hills, but you don't see any people. And can I just just it's, so I can visualize it, I'm sure maybe for some listeners, can you just describe what we're seeing in terms of the scope of this island, right? It's not just this little pid piddly thing. I mean, I'm presuming this we is said like... said it was only two kilometers long. Two kilometers long is pretty big. Yeah. But you can see the sides. Yeah. But distant, right? Like we're talking peripheral uh, vision. Pro size. Probably about a kilometer on each end, I would think. Yeah. <laughs> that would make sense because we're in the Imagine middle. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's weird, right? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> And, cool. and so basically what you're staring at is a slight, uh, if you're staring right down the middle of the island, there's a, a slight valley, there's a rise up on the left hand side. Um, there seems you can't see through the island. There's another rise on the far side, uh, which would be protecting you from the blast winds. And then there's a rise on the right hand side. Trade winds. Uh, so, has, so it's not an invisible island? 
No, it's not an invisible. It's not transparent. Island. Nope. Okay. Uh, and then there's a rise and, on the right hand side. Uh, and there's like some a hill human, structure with a human, or there's some constructed uh, yeah. structure there. Yeah, yeah and a woman structure. in a white dress. Do we who's all who's no longer there? She's no longer. By the time that Fiddly Off gets the uh, extractor binoculars, uh, there's nobody there on the island. By the oh. time he gets his binoculars unfurled. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. So she, it looked like she was asking for help. Did we scare scare her away? Who saw her? Uh, only Dr. Palmer Amelia. was looking. Oh, okay. Dr. Palmer. Yeah. Hmm. Well, um, so you, so if I'm looking at this, there's a peak on the left and a peak on the right and a bit of a valley in the middle, at which point uh, Get Off will say, that's the perfect spot to get off. And I'll, I'll uh, uh, forget off and I'll, I'll say we should venture there uh, uh, straight away. I highly agree. Perhaps that woman knows the history of the island. Perhaps the ship crashed here. Perhaps. I'm more concerned with why this island is suddenly here and not on the charts. Well, maybe we exactly get to this. Dev. Maybe it's undiscovered, Dev. Maybe we no, who undiscovered? It. There's buildings there. Maybe we can claim this, Dev. What? Yeah, but it hasn't been what discovered sort of by colonialists. That's right. <laughs> Manifest destiny, Dev. <laughs> uh, so Dev is, uh, you know, sort of doing uh, doing his thing, going around, uh, securing everything, and then he'll start um, uh, getting the dinghy. So it's on a winch system, so he'll get that swung out and, and drop down, and, um, you know, get get things ready for us to head to shore. Now, Tommy, okay. I know this wasn't part of your vision. Are you going to be okay? Ooh, I, I think maybe if I keep my eyes closed <laughs> and if you keep uh, talking to me, I'll just... Oh, pretend. I can do that. That is not a problem at all. Yeah, yeah, tell me about uh, uh, more about Mary, Queen of Scots, and I'll pretend I'm not in a dinghy. Now, okay. she, got her, she got her head chopped off, right? Well, yes, eventually... Uh, because of course she had claimed Elizabeth yeah. the First's throne as her own, and she did have but a legitimate still, claim. Still, so things been, got very dicey. Yeah, it must have been hard to uh, kill a relative. Were they friends at one point, Elizabeth and Mary? Ah, uh, not friends per se. They hmm. coexisted. Is Rufus but- joining us? <laughs> Uh, I, I don't think he's feeling well enough to uh, to go ashore at the moment. So good. Boy. Should, should he be in the dinghy just in case he shows up next week? <laughs> Otherwise, we'll we can swim, we can figure it out. The, swim to the island. <laughs> Water's lovely. There's oh, two uh, dinghies on the boat. Yeah, so we'll it's take uh, Horace the younger, and uh, nice, in. nice. And uh, uh, and I yeah. I would also take a sort of a a shore bag of uh, some water, uh, some food, um, uh, you know, flare gun. Um, yeah, probably. I've got a I've got a forty five and a spare. A, a spare forty five? No, a spare. A spear. A spare. A spear. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Like a fi- like a fishing spare. Yeah. Okay. Uh, How are you doing, Tommy? Several uh, different I, accents I already this history. episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing okay. Yeah, uh, more history. Yeah, I mean, it is fair to say that Mary and Elizabeth were friends of a sort because at least Mary did flee to Elizabeth for <laughs> protection. But you know, right, so it and, wasn't and we're rowing. Yeah. And we're rowing. No, we're not rowing. We're mo- rowing. we're motoring. We're motoring. There's no rowing. But it was not many mm-hmm. decades after that that she so, plotted against Elizabeth. Was it her personally, or was it her, her <laughs> handlers? So, so they're talking. So Tommy and Amelia are talking history in order to keep Tommy sedate, right? Yeah. As, yes. As, yes. as y'all yeah. kind of motor in, we're so motoring about our way in. So, so Dev and and get off, get off. I'm I'm sure you're probably rolling your eyes quite a bit as Amelia is uh, spouting. Anybody history. who's watching the video can see this happening <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> at, at Tommy. And so there's this kind of continual discourse of Mary, Queen of Scots, and Elizabeth's relationship for the I, 
whatever it is, like probably a five, 10 minute little boat ride in the shore. 15, um, 20. <laughs> At some point, Dev's going to jump overboard. <laughs> uh, get off, get off, pulls out his second flask. <laughs> his backup flask, his shore flask. <laughs> Okay. All right, you know, so, Tommy, you are very right. It is not clear that she was really the instigator of the assassination attempt. Okay, so um, yeah. when we um, hit shore, <laughs> uh, Dev's gonna, you know, hop off the bow and you know pull the boat up uh, up on shore, find a way to secure it, uh, and then uh, go to help Tommy uh, off the boat. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Dev. And so you're you're standing on a, a sandy beach, um, but there's a lot of growth on this island too. And um, but but right now you're um, you're right at the sta- sandy beach, kind of in the middle of that valley. You can see up, you can see kind of the edges of this stone structure. It's quite large. Hmm. Um, uh, uh, up on Amelia, where where did you uh, see the woman? Maybe we can follow her footprints. Right up there, wherever the keeper described. No, no, where y'all are standing is where. Yeah, she was. Oh, she was down on the. Oh, I imagine she was up on like a parapet or something. You imagined poorly, (laughs) or you described poorly. No, I I got (laughs) it. I I got it. Uh, Well, I think she was right here. Okay. Do I see any signs of her? Uh, you look around. Make a spot hidden. I'm looking. Uh, Yeah, I'd look to. Sure, y'all make spot hiddens. Wow, this uh, is a good night for a, Amelia. Yeah, I got a 15. I got a three. Oh, boy. Okay. I got a success. There, yep. There's absolutely no footprints whatsoever. What a waste of a three. Yeah. <laughs> um, but still, that's good information. Yeah. yeah. And and you, you spend quite a bit of time uh, walking the shore. And in fact, like, uh, from what you can tell... Um, there, there's not much of anything, and what that three will will give you is that uh, among the kind of you know like lapping, gentle lapping of the water against the shore, um, you hear nothing else. No animals or yeah, birds. No, yeah, hmm. nothing else at all. Um, um, there uh, is there is a uh, stream of water at the kind of base of the hill. Um, to your right and that stream of water is um as you're kind of looking around for footprints it's about six feet wide um and about a foot to two feet deep so does this island seem out of place with the rest of the bahamian islands Uh, in terms of its like biome it's got to uh, be strange not to have seabirds. Yeah. Uh, the. Let's see. Give me a give me an intelligence roll on that, Dev, and you can take it with advantage since you uh, since you do these islands often. Nope. Those two eighties. <laughs> wow. Uh, the I mean the thing that really strikes you is that uh, all all of the biome seems pretty normal. Okay. Uh, to what you would expect. You, yeah. You're, Nothing super inconsistent. At. Yeah. Okay. It's, cool. Yes. Keeper, can I can I have, uh, just add one thing that we did? I know there was a bit of a fracas with the dinghy before we left the boat. We're we're all waiting. <laughs> oh, I would have I, I I would have just probably radioed in uh, to see if there was a, a local town or you know coast guard or whatever that we discovered a bit of an unusual island and. Uh, you know, notifying folks. And, and, oh, okay. Uh, if we don't return or just, you know, FYI, I guess, hearts sure. and kisses, XOXO. I don't know how this works. Got, sure. Gossip girl. Um, when I'm, you, a get, uh, I'm a get off. I'm not a seaman. When you, uh, <laughs> when you uh, radioed in, uh, Captain, <gasps> uh, did you get a response? No. No, there was no response. Oh, that's further proof that I, this island could be in the past. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this could provide so much proof. My colleagues will never ridicule me again. We must find the ship. 
We must find the Paragon. Oh, boy. Again? Oh, I didn't know this was going to be such an exciting vacation. <laughs> oh, the two of them. Holy sh... All right, so, Dan. Uh, yeah, yeah Captain. Uh, yeah, let's make our, our little uh, 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 stop here uh, so that in case uh, Rufus wakes up, he knows where we've been. Uh, secure the dinghy uh, so that it's not going to go away there. Already secured. Already secured. Great job there, Dev. And uh, uh, yeah, so. Now, remember, I did pay you for scuba diving. So we may need to come to some arrangement if this is not going to happen. Well, that's in case we go scuba diving, and if we don't go scuba diving, uh, well, that's to be said. But there is a lovely island here for you to explore, it looks like. Uh, so uh, uh, I suppose, Dev... Uh, so uh, what would we... you say about the scuba diving? We're going to venture past this river here and maybe follow the trail of water. That seems the, the most logical choice. This is not nearly large enough for a ship. We should look for signs of a wreck here at the shore. Oh, there's a wreck, all right. Uh, we could go uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. It just depends on your searching uh, uh, preference here. It's, yeah, it it's, seems like likewise. there's three options. There's We could go up, uh, follow the river. We could um, check out the, the structure up there, or we could uh, circle the island uh, exploring the coast. Well, uh, the ship's not going to be in the structure. Uh, mm-hmm. Can we? Can we just? But perhaps that woman. C- can we go around the the coast? Sure. And then work our come back and then work our way uh, into the island. Sure. I agree, Tommy. We should either go around the coast looking for signs of the wreck, or find the woman and see if she knows anything about the history of this island. Well, we can do both. It's just a matter of the order, I think. Right. So, should we split into pairs? No. Gosh, no. Oh, unless you want to, uh, Amelia. <laughs> I, you know, those guys, they don't seem as, as enthused uh, as we are. They don't understand the gravity of this search. I know. This they is don't history. understand the importance of Why true don't the research. Of, the two of you can go clockwise, and me and Dev will go counterclockwise. And we'll it's meet the pursuit the of time. knowledge that is really important here. Yeah, uh, that's a great idea, Captain. We'll cover uh, the ground. Uh, much more quickly that way. There we go. All, All right. right. We'll, we'll see you on the other side. Let's head. It's always good splitting up the party. So so what what are y'all doing exactly? Y'all are going around? We're the, in the I, middle. We're going to okay. go around and meet in the meet middle a, on the on other, the other side. side. Yep. Oh, wonderful. All right. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Who's going to the left and who's going to the right? Uh, um, Dr. Palmer and I are going clockwise. You're going Okay, so you're going to the left. left. The left, yeah. Okay, so we're going going south. Oh, boy. (laughs) Okay. Um, So as you start out on the edges of the island... And we'll uh, make a little note so Rufus is aware, and the time of day, if that makes sense. Yes. Yeah, this is uh, early morning. We'll call it uh, 10 o'clock-ish. Is that okay? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right, and... The island uh, kind of on both ends bumps out into the ocean a little bit. And as you make your way around, um, one thing that y'all notice is that the, uh, let's see, Dev and Captain, one thing you notice is that that stream of water uh, keeps a pretty consistent uh, girth and depth as it goes around the base of that uh, hill. Okay, Mm -hmm. so it's 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 in like inland from the beach and parallel to shore. Yeah, weird. Okay, Hmm. in fact, uh, make an intelligence roll. uh, One of you on that. I'll I'll leave that to you, Captain. Uh, I've not Um, been doing well on those. Uh, I'll burn three luck and make it a hard success. Perfect. Um, you would be almost convinced that if you didn't know better or maybe you don't captain that it looks like a very shallow moat it's um it's very uh consistent in its width and Mm. its movement around the base of the mountain does it appear dug or digged (laughs) (laughs) dig dug Uh, (laughs) i remember dig dug 
Um, yeah, it, it appears maintained. How about that? Right. Um, I, and I so, if, yeah, that, yeah, that helps. That helps. And there will be a moment, though, as soon as we're out of visual sight of Tommy and uh, Amelia, uh, that I will turn to uh, and you. Dr. Paul! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Thank you, Tommy. On the other side of the island, you hear that. Really unbelievable that he can't remember such a small thing. And I would turn to Dev as they're out of eyesight. And I'd say, Dev, uh, you want to just wait for them? So, I mean, <laughs> it, we we could, but I, I got to admit, I'm kind of curious about this thing. It, it, there's a lot of weird stuff happening. And, and uh, you know, I don't know how much of it I believe. That whole time thing sounds like bullshit. But uh, I, I'm curious. The, the, she says there was a shipwreck. She seems like, like she's pretty smart. Now, all of a sudden, there's this island here that's not on any of the charts. That's weird as hell, man. Well, that's weird, but uh, this 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 water this it looks almost like uh, it's being maintained. Uh, like there's a bit of a, a channel there, uh, and I uh, that tells me there's folks here. Uh, she wasn't just uh, blowing smoke with that the white lady in white. Uh, well, I mean, there was structure. clearly nobody on the beach. Uh, you know, you saw the sand. There was nobody standing there. Yeah, no, no one there. But uh, this uh, it's giving me a a bit of the willies. I don't okay. know why I'm now British. Um, <laughs> and so... <laughs> yeah, that's your fourth accent tonight. <laughs> yeah. We're going to shoot for seven. seven. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think uh, we can we can make our way, Dev, but I'd have your wits about you. I, I don't... Uh, I don't have a great feeling. All right. He's like a 20s British colonially colonial. Col- colonial. Col- he's, col- col- he's a British colonial. Yeah, they were the worst. <laughs> those guys. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we're going to keep walking south. Yeah, it doesn't take that long to uh, walk two kilometers, right? On no. a beach. No, it's a mile, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, I mean, that's just the length of the island. So by the time oh, you okay. go around, right, you're probably. But we we each would have done two. We started in the middle. One, one. Unless I mean, it's a really long it, island. It's not a pencil, <laughs> right? It's got, it's got width it's, in between those. It's oh, got, it's got width yeah. and girth. Yeah. Circumference, Chris. That's very yeah. circumference. Yeah. circumference. I, I was thinking it came to like, like a turd. It came to a point. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice. Uh, no, you, you'd you probably each walk about three kilometers before you met. I mean, that's okay. still not that far. So, um, uh, though, you know, the beach walking's easy. Uh, the direction y'all are heading, Tommy and Amelia, uh, you're, you're sandy for quite some time. And then you get to the base of this other um, kind of large hill structure. I guess I should put some height on it. Let's call it 100 feet. Right. Mm. That's, and as we're walking, high. you know, it will be very fascinating if we can find this trove of letters because not a lot is known of the years that Mary was kept in true captivity by by Elizabeth. Because and where was she kept in in the tower? No, not the tower. <laughs> it was actually it was a it was a castle near the coast. It was quite far away oh. from the part of things elizabeth didn't want her can can you make the... a spot hidden roll at disadvantage <laughs> as you wax on about <laughs> historical Absolutely. facts there, but, and you... there was there was an eye roll heard across the world when was <laughs> <laughs> all right well i rolled a 73 and a 75 so i think my good rolls have uh right. gone away so, so y'all walk around the the base of this uh hill structure and um now, uh, do we see the thing you were talking about where it looks like it was uh made by with intent that something was built there uh, no that, yeah, that's where you're walking away from it yeah right there that oh was, that was in the moat. middle mm-hmm. y- yeah it well, appears that it's that a moat way. around the the structure oh okay okay well the base of the 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 hill that the structure is so, on top yeah. of that was so. the, the south side then right mm-hmm. yeah okay so yeah so um so as y'all round kind of the north part of the island um, the, there's another valley. Uh, there's there was that third kind of hillish structure off in the distance, and um, as y'all uh, as y'all make your way towards that, you look back at the one that with the structure on top of it, and you're able to kind of get a clear view now, mm-hmm. and you're able to see. Um, 
well let's see that would put you yeah that's not too far it's about a half kilometer like if you were to walk right through the middle of the island well probably a little more closer to a kilometer but um uh you're, you're at least able to see that it's very much like it looks like a building it's quite overgrown oh. um oh. but uh it, it appears quite large like it's not something that uh, would be easy to miss oh that's that's fascinating that building over there i would uh i started to does think it appear maybe... to be a castle from a 16th century so uh with your with your historian <laughs> role uh you could make an edu role on this okay I know Great. a bit about history too. Oh, okay, a, Tommy. Yeah, make one too. Though. High school. That's history, why we're friends, still. Tommy. Yeah. Uh that's great. Um, that is a that's a hard success. Uh, okay. mine's just a regular success. Okay. So your best guess, Amelia, it's a stone structure. Um it, there's there's no visible kind of windows to it on this side. Um but given the way that the island's facing, you're wondering if it's not an old military structure. But certainly just based on what you can see, um, that the construction techniques are 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 old. They're over at least a hundred years old. Mm. Um just in the way the the um the stone that, that it's from from the distance that you're at. Tommy, we should investigate. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I had an inkling that uh, the military was involved in some in some way, but it's not our military. That's uh, you know, that's not a modern uh, metal structure. That, that's uh... oh, do I notice? Maybe. Uh, does, it, does it look like the stones are from native to the island? You're far away, but you haven't. You like have color color match maybe. So you haven't run across a tremendous amount of stone on the that, island. Yeah, that's what I would have thought. Yeah. yeah. Maybe the crew and passengers from the Paragon survived. That, Maybe they built an enclave here. That would be truly fascinating. Talk about adding to the uh, you know, historical knowledge. Yeah. Cuz so you know Are y'all are y'all going to keep going around the island or y'all going to or what's no, your plan? Yeah, I don't want to go in the island until we meet up again. Okay. Oh, so we won't investigate now. Well, there that's at the southern part that we're seeing. That's oh, like I thought just, we turned around and saw no, back. Said, Didn't no. we just walk past it? Well, I thought we turned around and we saw back to the southern area. Boy, we really need a map here. Yeah. Imagine so, that. Uh, Our keeper has a map. You basically started right there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I, for listeners, I'm pointing to the middle of the island. And you're walking this The direction. island looks like a kidney bean. Okay. And where did we see the structure? Right here. So we're in that. So you are area. looking back oh, at so it's the like main in the walk. middle. We're looking back at the southern uh. part. Okay. So yeah. So they're looking back at the the main structure that was described earlier, but from a distance and from the north, yes. looking south at it. Correct. Okay. That makes sense, Tommy. We'll uh, continue our circle. Well, I guess. And then... uh, can I see that map again? <laughs> It might make sense to uh... <laughs> <laughs> the keeper is looking uh, suspiciously. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I wouldn't have the bird's eye view. Okay, <laughs> okay, and um, you two, uh, Captain and Dev, um, as you continue to make your way towards the southern tip of the island, uh, you you hear water, like a, a waterfall, at one point. Um, further in and then you make it um, to essentially um, the, the the at the southern tip of the island um, at some point you've gained altitude um, because it drops off below you probably 25 or 30 feet down um is carved out of the side of the island and you look down and it's an inlet and it looks like a river that kind of goes back up towards the i don't want to say river that's probably not the right but uh stream stream Creek. that co that goes Moat? back up towards the house um the just streams. looking at it you know that the sailboat would not fit up in there um it's it's very tight and looks to have a lot of crevasses um or uh turns um 
the the gap between this part and the next the other southern tip of the island is significant though it's probably about 30 or 40 feet um you're not going to be able to jump across huh. okay um so the choice would be to go back down and if it's close enough swim around to the other southern point or can t- follow this gap up into the island and try to cross and then head back south to the other point to the other yeah, southern I, point i got a, i got a better idea dev what, what's that captain let's head back to the dinghy okay but then and but, then we'll just take the dinghy around Makes sense. Okay, but then, and we can pick the other, well, the other two up. Okay. Once once they've exhausted themselves, you know. Okay, so uh, we'll 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 take the dinghy around to the the other southern point, um, beach it on the other side of the island, and then uh, uh, meet up with him. Yeah, or we'll just flag him if we see him. Okay. Makes sure. sense. Yeah. Sure. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll head back, grab the dinghy. Um, uh, and, and I would want to continue the same direction we were going walking, yeah. but just offshore. Right. Um, yeah, sure. We'll do that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So y'all are going to head back towards the dinghy as y'all head back towards the dinghy. Then, um, Tommy and Amelia, you're making your way all the way towards the east part of the island. Give me a con roll. Yeah. It, yeah and I'm going to uh, keep in mind uh, that uh, when we saw the structure in the distance, it seemed to be a uh, valley that led right to it, right? Yep. yep. So if we decided to enter from the north, yep. it would be a pretty easy walk. There. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So I'll, when we get back together, I'll relay that to you guys. Mm-hmm. Okay. I got an extreme success, which makes no sense because Amelia is hobbling around in her loafers and creased pants and sweating uh, and feeling very fine. unprepared for this island. So what happens is, as you make your way uh, to the east side of the island, you're behind another uh, hilly rise, not as extreme, probably about 50, 60 feet up. Um, But uh, you get a chill as if you're being watched. Um, And you all of a sudden just feel really uncomfortable about being out here. It's, It's such a, you can't explain it. It's such a dramatic switch from um, kind of the peaceful um, hopefulness of the cruise and arriving here and your excitement. Um, But uh, you have an overwhelming feeling of dread in this moment. And with that, we're going to take a break. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, we will take five or ten minutes. And we'll see everybody after the break. We are back from break. Michael, back to you. All righty. So Dev and Captain are making their way back into the dinghy. And we'll say you're in the dinghy by now. And uh, we left off with Amelia getting quite the chill uh, of being watched. And let's say at this point, I don't think it's unreasonable. You know, we're probably it's it's getting closer to 11 o'clock. Um, so it's, it's, it's mid morning, late morning. And, uh, are y'all going around the Southern end of the Island in the dinghy or the Northern end? Southern. Okay. Uh, so you make your way back across. You probably glance out at the boat, right? See if Rufus is, uh, Mm -hmm. surfaced at all. Um, no signs of kind of movement on the ship. It's a super calm day. Uh, the water on the side of the Island, almost glassy. And um, you're you're skiffing right along. Can you make who's driving this boat, this dinghy? So uh, I would think that it, I think if if the captain's piloting, um, I would think that we would have come up with a series of hand signals, um, so that I can actually be doing the navigating, but while he is at the wheel. Okay. So um, so I think that that would sort of be our our. 
and Rick, correct me if, if I'm wrong, but I would think that that would be our MO is that you're generally on the wheel, but I'm actually telling you which way to go. Um, yeah, yeah. You let the I mean, captain it, drive. Well, for the record, so the captain he, does know how to boat. He is holding he the wheel, but he's not actually making the decisions. So I would be on the foredeck, you know, just sort of like giving him like, you know, like, uh, like the captain, catcher. Give me a luck roll. You know, giving him like like these kind of things and mm-hmm. like baseball. Yeah, exactly. You don't don't want to run aground. Well, that's it. So I get to watch over the bow. Yeah. Um, to see what's under the water, you, Captain, and I can Captain? point him in directions. Captain, it was a, it, it was like a seventy. It, was, it just was a fail. Fail. What was it? It was like a seventy nine. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that was like a ninety face. All right. <clears throat> So um you're he's he's not listening to you too well, Dev. He's kinda uh he, he's you're giving him hand signals and he's kind of charting his own course. And you see the woman, Captain, on the southern tip of the mm. island on the beach. She's real. Um, and mm. you kind of inadvertently turn the dinghy towards her. Um and you steer off course and you're so fixated. You're like transfixed on the woman. And, and Dev, you notice him staring. And Dev's screaming at you. Rocks! Rocks! I'll no. just, I'll, I'll, I'll grab the wheel. Um, I, I, <laughs> but you would be in the, the front of the boat, right? It, it, it's a tiny little boat. Oh, okay. Uh, um, if you remember that, do you remember the picture of it? Oh yeah, um, so um, you grab the wheel, and um, you're able to the the boat doesn't nail the the boat itself doesn't nail into the rocks, but the prop does. There, there's a loud clanging sound. Um, What's as the prop? That's the little wheelie thing on the bottom of the motor that makes the boat go forward. So I'm assuming they knows more about boat. boats than he, he. Yeah, propeller. Um, I'm oh, I'm prop. assuming that they oh, yeah. have a a couple of paddles in this boat, probably. But there's a loud thunking sound uh, as as the prop nails the rock, and yep. uh, the boat goes forward about ten or fifteen feet. Um, and Captain, you uh, when you heard the clunking and uh, Dev grabbing the wheel, you spun around, um, and now you're kind of dead in the water. Okay, so we do have an not, electric not motor sure. um, and okay. oars. Uh, so, you know, the electric motor is for fishing, um, okay. but will get us to shore. Yeah. Um, so I guess we would use that to continue around the southern tip of the island to that other that other part and then beach over there. Okay. And um, and you're not too far offshore, but uh, so you, you pull up the, the outboard motor, mm-hmm. um, the the prop is all that it's it's a mess right um, great it's <laughs> great okay it's not going to be repairable without some tools yep yep okay. okay um but sure you can continue along the southern tip of the island uh with your little trolling motor mm-hmm. which is going to be substantially slower oh yeah um but uh so y'all are waiting amelia and tommy on this east edge of the island for quite some time um maybe we should why? Keep, maybe we should keep going maybe they hurt someone got hurt but why are we waiting keeper uh, how would oh. we even know if we were halfway around the island this is true okay oh okay yeah just keep walking and i okay. ask you I, I ask you are you are you okay amelia you looked you know a little pale back there I felt like someone was watching us. I mean, it could have been that woman, but I didn't see her. I didn't see anyone. But somebody was watching us. Well, I I trust that you saw the woman. So, and there's structures. So, yeah, someone could be watching us. We should uh, be careful. Watch out for them, too. Yeah. Well, let's keep going. Okay. Uh, Did you? My feet uh, hurt. Uh, Dev, did you want to talk to Captain Getoff about the fact that he ran into a rock? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Captain, uh, I, I, oh, are you okay? I am. 
<clears throat> yeah, Dev, I am. I uh, I saw. Did you see the woman? Uh, no, I I'm saw the rocks. To see what accent comes next? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I saw the rocks, and uh, I was I was giving you the signal to uh, turn to starboard, and you 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 ignored me there. I I was just uh, I was transfixed on this uh, this, this last there. Uh, I was just uh, uh, she was just standing there waving, uh, all in white, just like uh, that that Amelia uh, was saying. Dev was gonna... <laughs> so Dev would like <laughs> turn his head over to the beach. I assume clearly see that there was nobody there and yeah. that it's unlikely that anyone was there because it's all wide open and, you know, for someone to be there and then suddenly not be there like a minute later is highly improbable. Right. Um, so I, I, I would say what, um, so, uh, um, captain, you started a little early today. Um, you think you might want to, uh, slow down a little bit? I, I I I guess if you don't see anything, I suppose that's my. Uh, uh, I mean, do you see anything? No, I guess not. Uh, I guess not. Uh, the I, motors I, are all. all oh, it's, yeah, it's hosed, man. All hosed. Ah, I mean, it's unfortunate because I I actually had a boating skill, but I guess I just ran out of luck. That was the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I got a pretty good one of those too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a shame. But you know, so, so much into it. So, sometimes but. the story gets in the way, and uh, skills don't really matter anymore. <laughs> it's a fair point. It's a fair point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I suppose we'll just make our way around as much as we can with the little troller here, yeah. and then uh, I'll find a place maybe we can beach. It's uh, after the after the rift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Um, all right. Well, it, it, yeah. So, Captain, t- take it a little slow for a bit. Maybe, uh, maybe have some water. Um, yeah, why don't you, why don't you hop on the the, the wheel here? Yeah. I'll, I'm going to go to the front, get some air, and maybe have some uh, hydrate a bit. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so Dev's and, driving. <laughs> sure, and as you get to the southern tip of the island, certainly, like you see that the land, uh, kind of the the beach is is low where y'all arrived originally, but then it it rises up so that it's about. Uh, it's about a 20 foot drop from the land down to the water. Um, and you're making a way around to that, uh, that Creek or, uh, cut in that mm-hmm. y'all, that y'all kind of stopped at. Um, and then, uh, as, as you make your way around, you would probably see, uh, Amelia and Tommy, y'all kept walking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kept walking along the beach. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, so I would think like y'all would make your way, um, around that kind of, uh, that other hill. I said, it's about 50 or 60 feet tall. Um, you made your way around there and then you can see the other side of that structure, right? So you've seen all, you've seen three sides of this structure. Now you've seen it from where you landed. You've seen it from the Valley looking, um, back at it. And then now you're seeing it from the east side of the island. So you've seen, uh, I guess maybe that's the better way to put it. You've seen the west, north, and and east facing sides of this structure. Mm-hmm. Um, and and from the east side, uh, you have a pretty good view of it as well. Um, you can tell here um, it, it's definitely large, like uh, si- significant in terms of, um, you know, this wouldn't just be like a small outpost or something. Um, but again, uh, from what you can tell, like no windows or anything. Um, and, um, and I should I think, at least ask, should I roll for finding shipwreck? Yeah, uh, I, that's, I was going to say the same thing that, that I, I am looking as we're going around, I'm looking around the shore and just offshore, uh, for any signs of, of shipwreck or, um, or even, you know, reefs that a, a ship could get tangled on. Yeah. So one thing for sure, Dev, as you make your way across the southern tip, then as you're looking, um, that, that rock that uh, that get off it um, seemed like an anomaly at first. Um, as you make your way to the east side of the island, uh, there's a lot more rocky outcroppings, um, uh, which you have to navigate, uh, and and it takes some time. You're actually surprised at how kind of large uh, of, of boulders there are under the surface here. Um, 
Uh, you don't go too far out because you're on your trolling motor, but you, you know, you're like 30, 40 feet off the island and um, still, still having to navigate around them. Mm-hmm. Um, as you do, the um, you, you're able to see into the water and occasionally make a spot hidden because you're also driving the boat, but the water is pretty clear. It, yeah, driving the boat's really not much of anything. It's just sort of putting along. <laughs> um so that's a success normal success okay. um you um you see slats and things sticking out of the sand in spots hmm. um and you kind of question you know whether it's stuff that's washed up over time uh not on the west side of the island but on the east side of the island it certainly could have washed up uh, onto it uh, uh but it does strike you as funny that some of them do look to be like, you know, piece, pieces of boat. Okay. That makes sense. Um, okay. And as you make your way around the southern tip, uh, you see uh, Amelia and Tommy. Uh, and Amelia and Tommy, you would see as you're kind of looking out over the water and probably, well, you probably wouldn't hear, but you, you would see Dev and Captain uh, coming around the mountain. Very slowly. <laughs> yep, we give them a wave, and uh, you know, head head over to the beach to where they are. We did not find anything. Uh, it looks like the Paragon. Th- there's there, there looks to be some uh, some potential um, pieces of a shipwreck over here, uh, right where we just were. Really? Yeah. Did you explore Ooh. them? No, we uh, so uh, we had a little incident on the way over, so we couldn't get around the south end of the island uh, walking. So we went back and got the dinghy, and we had a little bit of an incident. Uh, the the main motor hit some rocks and and uh, messed up the propeller pretty badly. So we had to switch to this uh, super slow trolling motor. Um, you should so. really be more careful. We hired you for your skill and expertise. Yep, I'm aware. Um, accidents do happen uh, to the best of us. Um, so, uh, it, do you want to hop in the boat and, uh, uh, we can go over there and I'll, I'll show it to you and you can see if you think it, it might be relevant. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's, and that's, then. That, that's if the boat's Excuse to your me, liking. Captain, I was Dr. talking. Dr. Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> then we should go and explore this strange installment, this building, this, uh, settlement of sorts up on the hill. We saw okay. it from multiple angles and. Perhaps that's where the woman that I saw is residing, and perhaps we could find some information about this island. Yeah. All right. Maybe it'll good. be like Roanoke, a lost lost village. Uh, so uh, we'll get them into the dinghy and then head back to where um, I, I saw those wooden slats. Okay. And so that's kind of off the southeastern edge of the island. And uh, you're you're kind of combing through the water, um, and you see what he's talking about, uh, Amelia. There's occasionally like large timbers poking through the sand, um, and, and maybe some like you know metallic objects, uh, like some pieces of metal sticking through as well. Um, it doesn't look like. Uh, maybe the size that you think would be necessary for um, the HMS Paragon Paragon. I don't know. I'm going to write this down so that I'll stop asking you. <laughs> um, all right. It's uh, it doesn't look like the necessarily the size of the Paragon probably left over from a smaller vessel or maybe even just like blown through on a hurricane or something. Um doesn't anything that strikes you as too promising. Do you have a digging implement in your dinghy? Uh, I, I think the only thing that we could dig with is maybe the anchor or maybe an oar. Where, where are you looking to dig? I just want to excavate around these ruins and see if there's any sign of useful information so they're they're in the water right yeah you're in like yeah oh so, i thought they were on the shore no they're in the water you're in a, uh, you're in a boat uh, oh I how, thought how they were deep on the are shore. they okay no, like six to ten feet yeah, okay so um yeah i mean i could just uh, if are there like individual pieces yeah, yeah, yeah. okay 
Um, I mean, I can just go grab one for you if if you want to see what they what they look like up close. Well, Can I we, don't need just a piece of tell. wood, but if there no, was anything no. that was in... We could oh, tell. Tommy, can you... Yeah, oh, no, we could tell uh, what kind of wood it's made out of, and then we would know uh, whether it came from England, because ah, uh, they this used... Is out of my area of expertise. Yeah. Listen to Tommy. And we could tell how, uh, whether it was old growth by the... Uh, the rings. Stuff. All right. Not well, the, not the rings. The uh, <laughs> what's the straight ones? Or right, Dev, this the grain. The grain. Yeah, the grain, grain yeah. Yes. <laughs> Dev, these two sound like they really know what they're talking about. Why don't you get them a piece of wood to look at for a while? <laughs> All right. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll hop over. Uh, you know, hop into the water, grab a grab a hunk of that wood, and bring it back up for him. Okay. And immediately, as uh, Dev, as you wrap your hands around it, uh, you you know it's not what they're looking for. Um, you you swim up with it and you plop it. And uh, Amelia, the air goes out of your lungs because it's um, no, it's it painted. It's made painted in China. White. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it, it's, it's painted white and red, um, and, and certainly not with anything that uh, you know. It looks like it's been done in the last fifty years. You know, the um, nothing that would identify it, but certainly not the kind of old ship wreckage that you're looking for. But does it does it look similar to the ships that we know recently have disappeared? Mm. Mm, make an edu roll. Uh, what did we learn about that ship that disappeared five years ago? Can I roll to see if I oh, find that, a skeleton that was, no, no, of Amelia the, Earhart? No, no, no. That wasn't the. <laughs> that's not the one I was referring to. There's ones that we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is this is a get off roll for edu. Oh, oh fuck! What I got? Double zero, all zeros. Oh my! No. Your education backfires on you. I mean that. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> um. So just okay. in case anyone forgets the scoring of Call of Cthulhu, that's a hundred. Yeah, and that's that is an very, fail. very bad. It's bad news for Captain Getoff. You know, Captain Getoff didn't at the beginning <laughs> of the. Oh my god! Okay, um, can I put something out there that you may want to run with? Yeah, sure. That maybe this. I think this is the you know something from my lost uncle Rufus, and it'll get me sort of hooked in a obsessive way. Actually, well, that's what that's what I was that's what I was thinking about is that. Um, Sam gets a hundred. You become yeah. Actually, okay. Yeah, no, I know. So, yeah, thanks, Tommy. So first, you need to make a sand roll. Let's start there. Let's see how bad it gets. And uh, re you know, remember or, what we talked about last week on Up Your RPG that it doesn't necessarily have to be something horrible just because he rolled the 100 at this point. We don't want it to destroy his character arc. So, you know, take a minute, think about it. It could be uh, something that grows. Oh, yeah. 49. Yeah. 49. Yeah. 49. Exponentially. Is that a pass? I passed. Or I, passed. I passed. Yes, I passed. Pastor Sandroll. Okay. Um, I, the captain is afraid of water. <laughs> I hate y'all. Uh, get off! Jumps out of the boat, and oh. um, you're convinced that the wreckage on the floor of the ocean belongs to your uncle. And um, not to take over your character here, but my thought would be: you start furiously like taking gulps of air diving down and ripping pieces of um this wreckage and throwing them in the skiff so um amelia tommy dev y'all are watching the captain like dive down grab pieces of the wreckage and throw them in the boat um and then uh he, he swims towards the mainland what I it's worth i i do have a diving skill Sure. I mean, you're in six to ten feet of water. I'm not like... Okay. I don't know why I'm actually digging my own holes here, so let's just keep going. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dev, Dev, is, the, is the captain on drugs? 
No, no, he's not on drugs. He's not on drugs. He he'll he'll, to he'll be, be fine. Drinking pretty uh, heavily. Yeah, he had a couple of drinks this morning. Um, you know, he's. I he's, think he's on his second flask. He's, he's is this a, normal he, behavior for him, or is there some value to this uh, debris? Well, there I might hear be. That. I, I don't. I don't know. No, you probably wouldn't hear that. Actually, yeah, you're, yeah. you're swimming. And um, why is he? Why is he swimming? <clears throat> Well, we got a perfectly good boat. Well, maybe he's trying to, to swim it off. I, I'm I'm not quite sure. Uh, let's uh, head over to shore and uh, try and catch him up there. Would Would it be reasonable, Keeper, if I was muttering Rufus out yeah, loud? Yeah, sure. Because yeah, I think absolutely. that would also confuse probably them. <clears throat> yeah. Why? Yes, indeed. I, that I would be very confusing. Yeah. I I think that's <laughs> the big part of this hundred right now. Right now, is that um, it, it really like whatever confidence that Amelia and Tommy had in you um, is being shaken because you're acting completely erratically and you've become obsessively focused on getting every piece of this, this ship. Dev, how long have you been employed by Captain Getoff? What do you know about him really? Uh, well, you know, everybody's got their stories. Um, we've been working together for a couple of years. Um, you know, everybody's got their issues. We all got stuff we're trying to get away from. I'm sure you do too. Um, I'll talk I to him, see I'm what's going on. Get too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, he know, seems I'm obsessed not the, with I'm our not new the passenger. captain of, of, a, of a ship. Well, you know, uh, more, more than one people have the name. Do I, I? I know that your brother's name is Rufus, right? Uh, uncle, but yes. Or uncle, yeah. Sorry, um, yeah. You know, there's there's more than uh, more than one Rufus in the world. It, it might not be the same one. Um, you know, the, the captain did lose somebody he was very close to, so uh, this this might have something to do with it. Uh, I'll I'll talk to him. He'll be all right. Hey. Uh, so what, Rufus, what, Rufus. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, are, how close to shore are we? It, and did did he get to shore? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 basically like Tom Hanks did to shore, right? Like, okay. Yeah. So um when we get to shore, um I'll go, hey, you know, uh I'm gonna go talk to the captain, see see what's going on. Um if you guys want to hang out here, maybe have some water, stay hydrated. It can uh the sun can creep up on you pretty quick out here. So uh, uh don't don't go without water for too long. Uh there's there's some here in the in this little uh this locker. Um I'm gonna go talk to the captain and uh then we can uh, maybe go check out that that structure over there. I think that sounds like a great idea, Dev. Okay, uh, thank thanks you for you being too. the voice of reason. <laughs> I'll, I'll do what I can. Uh, so I'll I'll sort of go jogging up to to the captain's. Hey, Cap, Cap, what's going Actually, on, man? Can, can I retcon for just a moment before you do this? Hey, you're the keeper. You do whatever the fuck you want, man. Yeah, I I think this just would make a little bit more sense for for how over the edge he's gone because uh, you did find rufus's boat was returned i want to say what you found was a silver chain with a cross on it that would make way more sense yep. yeah and um and though to you dev it's kind of generic like when you see this this cross and chain you're like oh this could be anybody's but captain that's what made you convinced that he was here or that he lost it um, and, and so, uh, Dev, when you come up to him, finding him on the beach with him screaming um, Rufus. Rufus, Rufus's name, he's clutching this in his hand. So go ahead. You can okay. pick it up from there. So Sorry. you're saying I that in, feel like you're saying that uh, amongst the uh, uh, the the wrecks of the or, the, you know, these these boards <laughs> from from this previous ship, I found this necklace and that that's what yeah. I brought up with with no, a piece no, no, of board, no. or, or Captain found it. Yeah, Captain, when he dove in the water yep. and he was throwing these things on, it wasn't yep. that uh, because they found Rufus's boat. That's not what went missing. So they found Rufus's. It's it's that this he in the process of pulling this, he saw this cross and and chain, and he he grabbed that, and that's what made him obsessively start digging around. Not that he wanted to keep the pieces. Okay, um, and gotcha. Then ran to shore. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so hey, hey, Kevin, what what's going on, man? I I I, I they, this cross, it's Rufus's. I know. I I, I can almost see it on him, and his uh, that 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 matted mess of a of a of a hair he had it buried into there on his uh, chest. I he's it's it's him. I know it's him. 
That's a, that's a, that's a very weird description there, Cap. Wait, who's um, holding your shirt up? <laughs> Someone grabbing Rick's shirt. Oh, oh no, it's there? the it's the um, oh, Zoom goodness. trying to fill in. Um, so, all right, Cap. So you're saying yeah. you you think uh, you think your uncle w- went down here? It was it was his. I, I know it. It's he. He must be here. Um, he must be here. Okay. So, uh, all right. So here's the deal. I I, I get why you're upset. Um, uh, uh, but we, we got we got paying customers here, and they're they're getting a little shook up by your actions. So uh, can you just chill out for a little bit? And it, you know, all right. Let, let's say this is where he went down. Uh, let's say that is his necklace. Uh, it's just another reason for us to to keep investigating this island, right? And and we can keep it together. Yeah, we can take yeah. some deep breaths. We'll keep looking. At, at Dr. Palmer's looking for her thing. You're looking for your thing. They're they're both in the same place, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. You're right. You're right as usual. But we fact- we got it. We got to keep them calm because they're they're starting to get a little shaky. Because that was a little weird what you did back there, man. I know, I, I know, I know what I need. I know what I need. And I, and he, out of his shore bag, uh, <laughs> he grabs you know, plastic he, number three. <laughs> no, no, he grabs a wrapped up plastic bundle, and he unbundles it, and he takes out um, something to smoke, and he begins to uh, try and light it there on the beach and uh, get himself a little more comfortable. All right, uh, so. Uh, uh, Dev will um, will turn and go back toward Tommy and Amelia, but he's trying to sort of, uh, you know, you, sort you, of you shield. Want, you, want, you want any, Dev? You want any? <laughs> Is that smoke wafting down the beach? Can Amelia smell the smoke? Are y'all, are y'all on the beach or in the boat? I'm sorry, Amelia. Did, are y'all got off on the beach? I think we got yeah. off. Yeah, yeah I, I was picturing them sort of by the boat. And then yeah. went back to get the captain. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't think we have a smell roll. You can just choose your spot <laughs> hidden. <laughs> uh, smell roll. Smell that smoke. I rolled a ninety. <laughs> My nose is a little clogged. Okay. Well, the Maybe uh, I that had would make COVID. Sense. No, the wind's blowing from that direction, so it's blowing the smoke inland. So sure, okay. uh, you're not you're not picking it up. You're not now, Deb, up did you what... come back to us? Um, yeah, I, I would slowly come back, but I, I'm, I'm sort of, as I'm close to the captain, I'm walking very slowly um, because I know that as I get further away from him, you're going to be able to see more. So I'm, I'm trying to block him as best I can. So as you approach oh. us, you probably hear, so Tommy, what do you think about Mary's claim to the English throne? <laughs> do you well, think the Stuarts had a legitimate claim? Uh, yeah, they definitely had a legitimate claim, but... Uh... I don't know what would have resulted. All right, hey you two. Uh, so um, <laughs> you guys to ready to Catholic? What? Huh? <laughs> you guys ready to, oh, to head up to the uh, that building up there? Uh, yeah. Where's the? What is? Is the captain smoking? Uh, yeah, Does he's he smoke just too. Yeah, just a little. You know, I mean, a little smoke to calm himself many down. Many vices. Yeah, lots of people have vices. Oh, I know what's going on. Uh, I remember teaching the hippies. I was a young teacher when uh, in the late sixties. So, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm I'm hip with the. <laughs> you hip to that drive? Hip with the hippies? I, I, I'm hip <laughs> with what the the hippies were laying down. And, you down with that? And breathing in and, and whatnot. Uh-huh. It's it's kind of a shame that uh, you know nowadays kids are kind of boring. They've lost that that drive that uh, with the. The youth had back then. Yeah, man, them hippies had flair. They did. <clears throat> I mean, for the record, the captain. I go, like, I go, is... I go. Hey, captain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the captain is like his forties at least, you know. Yeah, but he so looks he like was... he's older. So he he gives you he gives you the thumbs up, and then he sort of like sort of gestures. You know, do you like a? Oh, do I, you I wanna... No, no. He, he, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> cool, man. It's cool. It's cool. All right. Doc, so, Doctor Palmer, you you seem a little wound up. Yes, I have very important things to do. do Are you, you going to join us? I think we're heading up the mountain. Do you want anything that might help with that? 
I'm quite comfortable. Thank you. All right. All right. What okay. are we talking about? Help with that. Uh, so uh, this is just you, who I am. Do you want to head head up north a little bit and then then go in, uh, so we don't have to climb so much here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, so Dev's gonna just head off, uh, sort of leading the way, a little right, bit north, right. sort of back toward the original landing site, okay. and then heady so that it's not as steep a descent. Am I picturing that correctly? That that the further south you go, the steeper the descent up the yes. up the mountain. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. At this point, I, I would have stopped or put my things away mm-hmm. and re- rejoined behind them. Okay. And and so at this point, uh, you're fairly, especially since Get Off had pointed it out, Dev, uh, as you approach the structure from the east side, uh, you're, you're now very aware that that's like a moat that's dug around. It's not very deep. It's only like, like I said, a foot to two feet deep. But it's definitely like it. You're assuming at this point that it must go all the way around. So um, can I just clarify? The moat is around the same building that we just saw from the other side. It's around the base of the of the, the hill. mountain that building yeah, is on. Yeah. But we were both looking at the same. We were focusing on the same thing on the island. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna check out the uh, the water in the moat and see. Uh, you know. Other yeah, if there's anything is strange about it. It's uh, I, if it's stagnant. See if it's no. Uh, uh, let's see. What do you tell me? What you do? You drop some like grass in it. Do you like put some leaves in it? That's oh, no, a I'll weird actually, thing to I'll do. Actually, <laughs> no, I'll actually scoop some up and uh, look at it in my hand. Yeah, no, it's. I mean, it's crystal clear. I really uh, want to understand the composition of this water. I'm going to throw some grass also, in it. Yeah, well, no, I, I, he asked if it was stagnant. That would tell you oh if it's God, moving. So okay. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I'll also give it a, I'll give it a little taste to see whether it's uh, salt water or whether it's from some fresh water spring. Yep, no, but it's, it's definitely salty. Okay. <laughs> and just, just to double check, it's not flowing. It is. It, it, oh, is. it is. It's moving. That's what I was saying. It is moving. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. It's salt so, water and it's moving. And it's mm. inland. Interesting. Um, as you make your way uh, like around the base, if you follow the moat and you're headed back towards the west side of the island, uh, there is a staircase uh, north facing on the hill hmm. uh, that leads up towards the structure. Okay, um, any footprints around here? Uh, no footprints. Now you said the structure was Actually, somewhat yeah. overgrown. Are, are the stairs overgrown as well, or does uh, it look like it's been kept clear? Yeah, they're pretty well kept. Um, and from from what you can tell, it appears to be laid stone. Hmm. But again, not stone that appears to be native to the island. No, correct. Interesting. All right. Head up the stairs. Okay. Uh, so y'all are crossing the moat, correct? Uh, yeah. Is there a bridge? There's no bridge. We just forward the moat? Well, how wide did you say it was? It's about six feet wide. And how deep? About a uh, foot to two feet deep. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Um, I, I guess I'd it. take a step and see what, what yeah, happened. Or, you know what? I'm going to grab a stick okay. and put it in there, make sure that it's actually that deep and that the that the bottom is firm. Yeah. And as you do yeah, that, I, Amelia has I, just walked in. And I'm okay. going to run and jump across it because I don't want to get my boots wet. Sure. And, and you see that the or source... No, actually, I have, remember, I have loafers. <laughs> <laughs> black socks and loafers. <laughs> uh, and you see the source of it moving <clears throat> is that uh, from uh, from between the steps, there's, there's holes in the steps that the water's coming through. Uh, and running down the steps into the the moat, uh, which keeps it flowing. Um, so the captain stops at the moat. He's just sort of staring at it for a while. <laughs> All right, Captain. Yep, the sun glinting off. Right. So if we just walk a little bit more to the northeast... There would be no more moat anymore, right? Or does the moat circle all the way back around and go back into the stairs? 
No, it um so it comes out of the stairs. Yeah. It flows around to the structure. Oh, it flows both it directions flows. around the structure. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Yeah, then right across. Yeah, I okay. do my running broad jump. Okay. Uh, you, are you trying to clear it? Are you trying to jump yeah. the six feet? Yeah, it's just six feet. Okay. I've jumped uh, six feet before. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, then, six feet uh, isn't very far. Yeah, okay. Then you should make a... Uh, uh, what do we have? You can make a dexterity roll on that. I like to. I'm imagining this high school uh, history teacher jumping the moat. Uh, my dex is very high. My strength is uh, kind of low. Uh, yep, by regular success. Oh, okay. All right. And so uh, Tommy just clears it, jumps right over, lands in front of the stairs. Yeah. Everybody else forwards it? Yes. Okay. I'm not well, risking guys, that hundred. You guys are going to get your feet wet. <laughs> oh, I, I was just in the water, man. Oh, that's true. Uh, you okay there, the Cap? Boat, Amelia stops. Yeah, the stairs are moving, Dev. No, it's the water. It's the water over the steps, dude. They're melting. Yep. Yeah, uh, yeah, it looks like that. They're not totally solid, man. You're good. So uh, when we're when you guys are crossing, are you? I guess my question keeper can you can we cross like instead of crossing can we just go up the stairs no no the stairs end at, at the so the bottom of the stairs are at the moat so at you the would edge have to of the cross moat. the moat yeah at the edge of the moat so you would have to cross the moat to then climb oh up the so stairs. someone could have taken a little a little boat up the moat and then gotten off on the steps like if they had a little rowboat or something sure i guess they could that's not unreasonable um, he, so he sort of snaps out of it. He says, Dev, we've got to, those stairs, I, I, that's, we got to go to the stairs. And so he'll, he'll trounce through trounce? the moat, <laughs> through the moat. You sure you don't mean flounce? And get to the other side. He's spouncing actually. Yeah. Okay. One wonderful, wonderful thing about Rick. Rick's a wonderful thing. <laughs> Trounce. Right. Okay. He's bouncy, so, trouncy, flouncy, pouncy, fun, 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 fun. That moat. Uh, so, uh, Emily, you just you were just saying something about getting halfway there. Oh, I just got halfway through, and I turned around to see what the captain was moaning about. Oh, okay. That's all. All right. All right. We all, all right. good here. Uh, so okay. Deb's starting to walk up the stairs. Okay, and <laughs> you can see now clearly, right at the top of these stairs is this structure and some large wooden doors. Um, so, uh, you know, it's, you probably need to go up about, uh, you know, let's call it 50 feet, uh, worth of stairs to ascend to the, to the front of this structure. And as you do, you start to rise up, um, above the Island. Um, you arrive on a, a landing in front of two very large wooden doors, and um, and you can see out um, over the water. You can see your sailboat gently floating on the glassy water. And then there's a large old iron knocker with a knock plate uh, right in the middle of the door. I, I think we should wait for Rufus. Uh, maybe we can, if he comes ashore, we can signal him from here. Mm -hmm. And it's 930. I think this is the perfect place to so stop. We're gonna walk next. Did do, do, do you want me to hit the knocker before we before <laughs> dun, we stop? Dun, dun. Is that what you were going for? <laughs> no, whatever y'all want to do. Y'all want to wait. Y'all want y'all want to wait on the land. All right. So let, let's let's do this. Uh, I'll steal steal a little keeper. Uh, so um, Dev is going to look at the knocker and look back down the steps at, at the rest of the party. Presumably, see Rufus emerging from down below on the boat and reach up to grab the knocker and we'll end it there. Sounds great. All right. That is going to do it for us this week. Until next time, you can find us at underthelibrary.com. If you would like to look us up online, you can find me on post news at Arthur. You can find Michael on Twitter for the time being at under the LIB 
or also at Post News once he gets things set up there, which I assume he's done nothing with while having COVID and uh, having holidays. Um, but he is under the library on Post News. And uh, don't forget to check out our other podcast called Up Your RPG, wherever you get your podcasts. So for me and for Michael, for Rick, for Emily, for Chris, and for the absent Scott and Wayne, we'll see you next time.